morning sea conditions were perfect. My plan was to stop at the bait grounds to get some live yakas and then head to some new ground 50 kilometers offshore. There's a lot of good ground in the area and it wasn't long before I found what looked like an active patch of fish and it was time to play with the knife jigs. Yep, yes. Oh, that's a better fish, come on. Ooh. <laughs> that was a really good hit, solid hit in the midwater. Oh, let's hope it's the species I'm looking for. Come on, this is the area for them. I know there's where there's snapper, there's gonna be amberjack. They usually show up in the same places and they love a knife jig coming up through the water column. Oh, what have we got here? I can see some color. It is an ambo. It's not a big one, but still a really fun fish to catch. I'm looking for some bigger models and I'm sure they will be around. Ah, oh, that, that is the fish that I came here for. A small version. Now I just got to find the big brother and sister, the amberjack. It's a close relation to the Samson fish and they will grow up to around 80 kilos in size and they love these reefy areas in the deeper water. I may have to go out another 20 meters or so in the 60 to 80 meter water to find the bigger ones, but at least they're around. So I'll just keep digging for a while and see if I can get some bigger models. Some bait schools started to come through the midwater and I could see solid arches feeding around them. So a hookup was almost certain. Yes, come on. Oh yes, what have we got here? Good fish. In the midwater, around those bait schools. Oh, I've really enjoyed fishing with these jigs today. Different size knife jigs. I've lost a few of them to fish. And I've just dropped down in size to an 80 gram at the moment. I saw a few schools coming through. And I reckon I've hooked a fish just feeding underneath that school. I reckon we're gonna get a mid afternoon bite as this tide picks up. And let's see what we've got here. Got some colour. It's not a big fish, but it was pulling pretty hard. Oh yep, it's a trevally. Another species. And we'll see if we can get this guy in for a good look. There we go. One of the many trevally species in Queensland. Now we don't catch these guys in close off Noosa, but they are pretty prolific out here in the deeper water, feeding on the bottom and around those bait schools that come through. And as you can see, they like a jig, especially this color today. The pink color's been pretty popular amongst quite a few species today. I dropped down the size of the jig and was just bringing it back at a slightly different speed and this guy couldn't resist it. A really beautiful fish, lots of power and a really good fight. These tea leaf trevally, as they're commonly known, were feeding on the bait schools in the midwater and proved to be lots of fun on the jigs for a while. Meanwhile, on the bottom, I was catching reef species such as Venus tuskfish, green jobfish, and spangled emperor. There's such an array of species to be had out in these wider grounds. Yep. Yes. Oh, yep, good fish, good fish. I'm gonna slow this thing down. Come on, come on. Oh. Get him off the bottom. Come on. Oh, I don't wanna lose this one. I've lost too many today. There's some fantastic fish out here. Oh, the hards is just Jurassic Park. I've been done a few times in the reef today. If you don't get them off the bottom pretty quick, it's game over. It's actually a kingy. Oh, even better. Man, these guys have got some power. There we go, the yellowtail kingfish. One of the most powerful pound for pound fish in the ocean. Occasionally I catch them in off Noosa, but this is the first one I've caught out here at the Hards. Normally we catch the amberjack, which is a pretty similar fighting fish, but that is an absolute, absolute weapon of a fish to catch today. And man, what, a, what an amazing catch of species. Such variety out here at the Hards, and hopefully we'll see you on the water sometime in Noosa. Mm -hmm.